crash like a pro. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at noon, Cal State students take to the streets. They're marching to support the Palestinian cause in Gaza. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lauren Lister, in for Lou Parker. Those students marched to the Cal State Board of Trustees meeting in Long Beach. They are demanding the university system divest from Israel. KTLA 5's Alina Abovian, live now in Long Beach with more. Alina? <laughs> Lauren and Glenn, they have been at it since 10 this morning. They first gathered at Lincoln Park at the Long Beach Civic Center, and now they are here in front of the CSU office and also the Chancellor's office. We are talking about students, mostly CSU students, alumni, and staff. They are all out here essentially saying they want to be heard, they want divestment, and if that doesn't happen, they essentially want the Chancellor to resign. Now, to talk more about this, I want to bring in Farah Ardlana. Farah, you are a recent graduate at Sacramento State, and and you led the divestment at Sacramento State, the encampment there. Talk to us about today. How is this any different? What's the message? Yeah, uh, this gathering here at the CSU Board of Trustees is to tell them that we are 23 CSU campuses that demand our tuition money no longer be used for investing in the war machine. More specifically, Israel's genocide against the Palestinians. Is there any indication at this point that that's actually happening? They have not spoken to us. But one thing that they fail to realize is that the students do not back down. And in history, we have always been on the forefront of liberation struggles. And we will not back down. We demand our money be removed from the war machine. I know that you're going to be here today until 1.30 this afternoon. But what's next for you? That's to be discussed. So tell me about the general message from some of the students out here. You guys are very passionate. We've seen students at other campuses camp out for several days. What is the personal message from you? The personal message from me with the encampments as far as why you're here. is that if you think that the student movement will not win, the Board of Trustees and Chancellor Madrid is dead wrong. We are very angry. Not only has our tuition all went up 6% every year, for a total of 34 percent and we are working class CSUs but now our money is funding the war machine that none of us agree with we wholeheartedly disagree with the with the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians and the support of the apartheid state of Israel and they are not listening to the students that we are the students that the board of trustees and the chancellor work for us that they are representing us but they are wholeheartedly disconnected and they have ousted themselves and their fake progressiveness they do not stand for the students in higher ed. They stand for themselves and the money that they roll in. What's been the response so far from the chancellor's office? Nothing. Nothing. And is there a timeline, a deadline? For right now, we're going to continue to keep putting pressure on the chancellor and the BOT. But their time is also running up. They are not popular people. And they need to understand that the millions of students that hate them right now they should be definitely fearing that and we definitely believe that they are in fear of that and you know i'm sure we're in their nightmares thank you so much for speaking with us here now i do want to show you the crowd out here just one more time we have about a hundred people here again made up of students uh some graduates and some staff and faculty it's been peaceful they've been out here since around 11 this morning uh long beach police also on standby letting them know they are absolutely welcome to be here to exercise uh their rights however they are keeping an eye out and again it's been peaceful that's the very latest i'm lena Bourbon reporting live here in long beach ktla 5 news thank you alina we're following breaking news, reports of a stabbing on a bus in Linwood. Let's go straight to Rich Prickett, overhead in Sky 5 with the latest. Rich, what do we know? Lauren and Glenn, it's on uh, Long Beach Boulevard near Imperial Highway here in the city of Linwood, where uh, just after 11 a.m., somebody was stabbed on this Metro bus here. You can see the, uh, some of the Metro personnel here, along with the Sheriff's Department, uh, here for the investigation. Now, according to L.A. County Fire, somebody was transported. However, we don't know the condition of that person, nor if it was a person that was stabbed on this bus. But again, uh, somebody uh, stabbed here on a Metro bus here in Linwood. There'll be an investigation here on Long Beach Boulevard in the meantime. Live at Sky 5, Rich Prickett. Send it back to you in All right. Hollywood. All right, thank you, Rich. In Pasadena, a man has been arrested on suspicion of setting off more than 100 mysterious explosions over the span of two years. KTLA 5 Sarah Welch 
Live in Pasadena with details on how police tracked down that suspect.